right, so this is it, man. Final drive in the Polo Hellcat Red Eye. Um, customer's on the way from New York to pick it up, so she's officially sold. I uh, got most of the stuff out of here. I got some paperwork that I gotta take with me so we could um, get his paperwork done at the office. And he's gonna be picking it up at five. It's about 10 a.m. And that's it, man. Sold pretty quick. I posted a video, what was it, two days ago? Or three days ago? And um, the phones and the texts and the messages haven't stopped coming through. But um, I got a lot of offers for the same price and I am gonna tell you guys for the first time ever of what my build costed and how much I ended up selling it for and what we clear on profit just because I think you guys are interested in you know, listening about that stuff. So uh, once we get to the office, I'm gonna take a plate off or I might do it after we get back because I'm just dropping it off right now so they can clean it up and then um, get the paperwork done. And then after, on the way back home, I'll tell you guys the breakdown of the expenses and how much we cleared after everything that went into this thing. So I was going through most of the comments on last video. I was trying to reply back to everyone um, that I could, but you guys, uh, you guys really showed up, man. I, I really thought that we're gonna have a lot of like negativity, um, people complaining that oh I should have done the giveaway because it will uh, attract more subscribers and this, this and that. But a lot of you understood where I was coming from, and um, that's uh, that's real love right there. But like I said, um, eventually once we get to a specific point of you know a big amount of subscribers and i know that we can sell them out sell out of tickets um i will try to do a giveaway and um i just don't want my my content to be to be based off giveaways um i know it's kind of boring i want you guys to be more interested in the builds and you know the hands-on stuff rather than me talking about and trying to sell my item and product so that's the whole point behind that and quick little update for you guys the gen 2 is finished it's done at the wrap shop we are going to pick it up tomorrow uh, tomorrow Saturday um, probably gonna pick it up around three four o'clock we're supposed to have really nice weather so it's gonna be a perfect time to go get it and um, honestly I don't say this about a lot of cars but I'm actually gonna miss this one um, just because it was so I mean it was my daily driver for about a month and it's just so comfortable so I can't even wait till I get my jailbreak in uh, which should be here uh, by the 25th I did get an email from Dodge saying that it should be here the week of the 25th which, which is next week um, so. all right we're gonna do one last pull out in custom mode Ooh. Man, this thing pulls, bro. all right so there she is we'll get down real quick I gotta turn this paperwork in and uh that's it. My brother's going to pick me up and then we'll go through the breakdown of the expenses and I'll tell you guys what I sold it for. All right, guys, we got the car dropped off. Now I'm going to go through the expenses of what the car cost to me. As you see, I, I take notes of everything that I pay. Uh, this way, when I sell it, I know exactly what I made or if we broke even or whatever. Um, so this car with auction fees, I paid $45,836.75. Now you gotta make a cashier check where it's like eight bucks. I didn't even include that in there. Uh, tow from California, where I bought the car from, was 1300. I had to buy a front cradle because it was hit from the bottom. I think it was like an undercarriage for 150. Uh, dealer parts were $580. Uh, dealer suspension parts, because the rear suspension was messed up on both sides. Uh, those parts were 485. I had to buy some more dealer parts for 690. I think this was the bumper, the grills, I had to buy an inner fender liner and just some miscellaneous stuff, but it all adds up as you can see. Uh, Shram Auto, I bought the two doors and the fender with the rocker molding for $1,500, so we got a really good deal on those, and they were, they were the same color, so I didn't have to pay to get them painted. Uh, mechanic labor, so I paid my friend to get the uh, suspension parts put on, that was $200. I had to get the car towed three separate times, uh, from shop to my house to back to the shop. Uh, that was $60 each, adding up to $180 just in tow. The wheel was $985, the paint was $30. Uh, I had to buy a spray can to get the uh, inside of the pillar painted, which is 30 bucks. Uh, the tie rods were 136. We had to change both tie rods on both sides. Um, the B pillar was $280. The seat repair to get the seat restitched after the airbag blew was 40 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. The closeout panel was $75. That was a panel that we broke when we we're trying to separate the bumper. Um, the uh, the labor to get the whole job done was 4,500, which was a steal. Um, he just gave me a good deal because I do a lot of work there. 
Uh, the wrap was about $2,700 with the tent, which is a pretty fair deal as well. Um, the labor to get the cradle put on was 500. The airbags was 400 for the seat, the roof airbag and the two buckles because the buckles got locked up when the airbags blew. Uh, inspection, because with the seller's title, you have to get the car re-inspected after you get the repairs done. That was 185. I had to get an alignment done, was 175. Uh, sight shield, I can't remember what that was, was 46 bucks. I had the car detailed for 150. Uh, new axle, it was $340 because the ABS light wouldn't turn off. And then the oil change was 75. I had to get a new tire sensor for 100. And you gotta resale the title for 50. So in total, after all said and done, I doubt I missed everything or anything because I take notes of everything that I do. The car cost me $61,594.75. Now I'll tell you what I sold it for. I sold it for 70,000, which I, I thought was pretty fair. I mean, I didn't want to hold on to it much longer to try to get more. Uh, just because I have another project coming in. Uh, so let's say we sold it for 61.6. Oops. So 70,000 minus 61.6. I think we did pretty good. 8,400. And then plus I got the content out of it. And um, that 61,000 or 62,000, that wasn't all my money. I mean, I explained this multiple times. I I used my, my credit to pay for most of this stuff. So I probably had my personal maybe 30,000 invested into the car and the rest of it was paid through credit and then once i sell the car i pay my credit cards back and we move on to the next one all right guys time to bring the big dog i'm gonna drive this today i gotta change the battery in this freaking key fob see how it keeps dying on me Just leaving work man traffic is crazy right now uh customer is supposed to be at the shop by six he just texted me he said he landed and he's, be, he's gonna be taking an uber uh to meet me there uh paperwork is already ready to go we got him a temp tag to drive back with since he's from out of state and i did ask him prior if he's okay with being on camera and he doesn't want to and that's uh that's fine i mean i always like to ask first before i just go out there and film people without their permission so uh, everyone has their personal reasons for that. Um, so I am going to be getting a clip of him when he's like actually pulling out and leaving the shop. Uh, that's really it. I'm running a little bit behind because uh, it's traffic. But once we get there, I'll show you guys the car for the last time. And I'll give you a hint of what we got coming on next. And of course, it got to start raining as soon as I pull out the hell of it. But I don't look too far away. Uh, I did get my plate off. The customer's on a test drive real quick. Make sure everything's all right. And then uh, finish up and get out of here. He's gone. Got the tank tag on there. I had to put it in the bag so I didn't get wet. Alright guys, we made it back to the house, safe and sound, man. It was scary as hell and sketchy driving on these tires, especially because the roads are wet. I do got some new ones, been having these for a couple weeks now. These are Mickey Thompson uh, Streetcom 305 3520s. We're going to be replacing these uh, middles that were on here. I think I got some pretty good use out of these. Still got some rubber laying around when we did a cheap donut maker video. Gotta get it washed up. But uh, customer is on his way back to New York with the Polo G Help, or not the Help, but the Polo G Red Eye and that transaction went nice and smooth so that's gonna be it for today's video guys if you liked the video make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you back on the next one